A grassroots movement lays the groundwork for something big. It is a movement of ordinary people, the roots of our communities, trying to achieve something extraordinary together. The vision of the Wright Center is to expand residencies and fellowships in the health care facilities of the 14 counties in Northeast Pennsylvania to ensure self-renewing medical manpower of the highest quality. The Wright Center for Graduate Medical Education was founded as the Scranton Temple Residency Program in 1977 by Dr. Robert E. Wright and a group of Scranton doctors and hospitals focused on training residents to become physicians. This was a true grassroots effort to improve health care in our community by helping to provide more primary care physicians, an effort based on the necessity of people. I started uh, practicing in Scranton in hematology and oncology in 1971. And uh, after a couple of years, I realized that I really needed to be involved in an educational pr program so that I would continue to renew myself as a doctor. And the opportunity arose in 1977 uh, to start a residency program. So I immediately uh, seized upon that and reached out to my uh, former mentors in Philadelphia, Dr. Saul Sherry, Dr. Herb Waxman, and uh, proceeded to uh, begin the process of developing a residency program. When first introduced, STRP focused exclusively on training internal medicine residents to become primary care physicians. Four residents were in the first graduating class in 1980. In the years since, 269 residents have gone on to graduate from the program, which has expanded to offer additional career options in hospital medicine or in various subspecialties, including a cardiology fellowship. Today, the Wright Center has 150 employees and provides for the health care needs of people throughout our community. My vision for when this organization was founded was to bring the educational process to Scranton and to bring the problems of communities to the medical schools. Basically, I remember writing a grant in uh, July of uh, 1977, which was fortunately was funded, one of the first of 20 in the country to fund primary care. Uh, and saying the first goal was to bring the university to the community and the second goal was to bring the community to the university. You know, this program has really been uh, a grassroots effort. There are were, there were numerous uh, physicians here in Scranton when uh, we started the program who were really hungry for involvement with academics. And clearly, the community really needed uh, more primary care doctors at that time the average age of a primary care doctor in Scranton was 57. You know, it wouldn't be very many years before you'd really be in trouble if you didn't uh, replenish the uh, supply of primary care doctors. And these other well-trained uh, internal medicine specialists also needed renewal. They needed to be involved in education to keep them involved and interested and uh, so it was really that, the coming together of these various needs and uh, the recognition on the part of the hospitals that uh, they needed to continue to replenish their supply of physicians and that, that an educational program would improve the quality of care in the hospitals that uh, got it going. But it was absolutely wonderful to see that happening uh, for the first time in a community like this. It was really clearly something that you have to say responded to the needs of the people. In June 2010, STRP was rebranded and renamed the Wright Center for Graduate Medical Education. The logo for the Wright Center was designed with a tagline that reads, Shaping the Future of Health Care, very fitting for this program which truly shapes the lives of so many physicians. The name was selected in honor of Dr. Robert Wright, the program founder. The change in name came about as a result of the growth and development of the overall program and an emphasis on developing the type of cutting-edge terminal training venues that would encourage medical school graduates to come to Scranton to complete their training. It was a wonderful idea. Actually, Regina Peters started here about uh, three or four years ago and realized that we had a kind of a cumbersome name and uh, that we ought to simplify it. and. Uh, she came up with the idea of uh, the Wright Center, which I found a little bit um, 
audacious, but uh, you know, it, it really has made a big difference uh, to the organization. The Wright Center has continued to excel, receiving six-year accreditation from the Accreditation Council for Graduate Medical Education and a five-year osteopathic medicine accreditation. The Wright Center has been awarded many grants in recognition of its focus on excellence in teaching and in medical care. A Teaching Health Center grant, a federal initiative, focused on expanding graduate medical education by investing in organizations whose primary mission was GME. A Ryan White Expansion Grant aided the Scranton Health Center to serve the many in our area suffering from this disease. A partnership between the Wright Center and the United States Department of Veterans Affairs enabled the center to place two cardiology residents and five internal medicine residents in the Wilkes-Barre VA Hospital, exposing residents to valuable teaching with much more of the area population. So I started at what was then the Scranton Temple Residency Program in 1999. Uh, I was a year out of my Infectious Disease Fellowship and uh, this opportunity came up uh, to join the faculty of the residency program. Uh, so along with that came duties at the, at the clinic also. So the HIV work in the clinic actually predates my arrival. Uh, there was an established clinic run by Dr. Stephen Pankos uh, and supported heavily by Sister Ruth Neely uh, for a number of years. So we ended up applying for this federal grant and we were very fortunate to get it. And um, the rest is history. Uh, we, got a, um, we initially got a pilot grant that led to a larger grant and we've had the Ryan White what's called the Part C grant to provide clinical care to patients for about 10 years now. Um, it's led to a real expansion in services uh, and has been a very sort of collaborative effort in the community. I almost see it as a grassroots kind of thing that happened. We felt our patients had a need for more services and we tried to provide them on site. We define our community pretty broadly. Um, we are the only HIV clinic providing comprehensive care to patients, really to all comers, irrespective of sort of gender, their sexual orientation, um, you know, their ability to pay. Um, and we, we really pride ourselves on providing quality care to everybody. We cover an area of seven counties of northeastern Pennsylvania, so it's about 5,500 square miles. And people come to us from about 80, 100 miles away. Um, we have people right here in this county, and we have people traveling a couple of hours at a time to come see us. Well, we like to think that it gives the residents a glimpse into caring for underserved, a relatively underserved population in a very highly effective manner. Um, the other thing is I think there can't be a better place to teach them about multidisciplinary care. For instance, involving physicians, nurse practitioners, nutritionists, mental health people, uh, case managers, how the team sort of works in concert to care for an individual patient. You learn every day. You learn from your colleagues, you learn from your patients, you learn from uh, just about there is something new every day. You know, we have a, an atmosphere of uh, where learning is encouraged, teaching is encouraged, and then that give and take is the beauty of the relationship. So the medical home model is about team-based delivery, um, leadership, and bringing everybody to the top of their license and developing your staff and their ability to work together and wiring them with health information technology. That is a great enabler if it's actually meaningfully used. The Wright Center's residents and physicians offer comprehensive primary care services at a range of sites, including the Scranton Primary Health Care Center. The Wright Centers for Primary Care in the Mid Valley and Clark's Summit, a student health center, regional hospital of Scranton, community medical center, the VA Medical Center, Wayne Community Health Center, and Moses Taylor Hospital. I've had a wonderful career at the Wright Center um, being mentored by Bob Wright. I think that the both of us have seen amazing organic growth come from what was really an experiment um, 10 years ago. 
uh, getting into new models of ambulatory training and growth out of Scranton and into um, smaller communities in the Mid Valley. Amazingly, uh, the Wright Center, really the previous Scranton Temple Residency Program was kind of an organization before its time. And Bob Wright, 35 years ago, when he set up the original corporation because he wanted to bring competing hospitals and competitors together in a collaborative mission of education, set it up as a not-for-profit sponsoring institution that really didn't live within either of them and bridged them and connected them and made them interdependent in many ways. I wrote the Teaching Health Center because it was um, calling for an organization that was a sponsoring institution of graduate medical education committed to patient care and committed to benefiting the community in which it was operated as a not-for-profit. I think it's an absolute tribute to the vision of Bob Wright. In 2008, another community-led grassroots effort in which Dr. Wright was involved, the Commonwealth Medical College accepted its first class of medical students. TCMC was born out of an effort to respond to the regional decrease in physician availability and to improve the health of community residents. In the summer of 2011, the Wright Center moved its administrative offices from Mercy Hospital to the second floor of Tobin Hall, located at 501 Madison Avenue, Scranton. The Wright Center occupies 15,000 square feet in the building which will allow for further expansion of this thriving teaching health organization. The new offices are also strategically located in close proximity to three teaching hospitals and within a short walk from the Scranton Health Center. The new location has also allowed for various departments to come together under one roof. Administration, IT, Clinical, Mental Health, Nutrition, Research, billing, finance, and grants. We moved to 501 Madison Avenue uh, last year, and uh, it was clearly a move that was uh, a result of the uh, increased need for space in the hospitals for their own programs, but it really has helped a great deal because we're centrally located between the three hospitals in Scranton that we work with in our clinic. So the residents uh, find it much easier to drop by here uh, on a day-to-day -day basis. And the other thing that's been so wonderful about it has been the fact that we've been able to bring all of our administrative staff together. You know, previous to this, we had, we were scattered throughout Mercy Hospital and uh, we had an office in Peckville where we did our billing and we've been able to bring all these administrative people together so that it really has promoted communication and efficiency. The mission of the Wright Center for Graduate Medical Education is to provide excellent graduate medical education in an innovative and collaborative spirit in order to deliver high-quality, evidence-based, and patient-centered care to the people of Northeastern Pennsylvania. The Wright Center's mission has been focused on quality-based education with uh, the opportunity to serve uh, uh, patients in our area and develop quality medicine. Really the goal has been to create a nurturing and training environment for our residents and be able to deliver quality medicine in an environment of training and learning. It was really necessary for us to have an educational program here to train students and residents in order to maintain a continued culture of growth and development in medicine. Through a lot of obstacles, he was able to start that program and have it continue till today with, uh, with all of its successes that he's been able to enjoy over those years. The future of the Wright Center is about to blossom. We now have an infrastructure of graduate medical education, and we're going to be able to couple that and collaborate that with medical student training and regionalize our graduate medical education to the entire northeastern sector of Pennsylvania. You know, I grew up training through this program. I've been teaching residents since I graduated, and I'm surrounded by colleagues who have also graduated this, from this program and have been alumni. And that's really been a tremendous benefit to our area, and we realize it every day. I would like to thank Dr. Wright for the nurturing environment, the educational environment, the, his constant insistence on creating an environment of renewal renewal in education, and enjoyment in practice medicine. 
to me, he really has been a mentor and has encouraged me and others to, to take on challenges that we probably wouldn't have otherwise. I still remember uh, being very early in my career here and he really encouraged me to think beyond just the one physician, one patient model and uh, think about putting down or coming up with ideas that would have longevity where both the um, the work as well as the reward would take time to unfold. Um, and I think that has really borne good fruit. It, it's been really thrilling. Uh, certainly getting involved in the development of the medical school has been a fantastic uh, opportunity. And you know what? Having gone through something like this before, I see the issues and I see the problems and I realize we've been there before and uh, we're going to get there. We're going to, there's, there's definitely strong light at the end of the tunnel and, and the effort is clearly worth it. It's been a fabulous opportunity. There hasn't been any boredom at all. You know, I've really had one uh, challenge after another. Uh, in the 90s, I, uh, the dean at Temple uh, really liked our program and he asked me to start a primary care institute at Temple which has been a great experience uh, for uh, in, uh, understanding the issues and developing primary care. So I started as a hematologist oncologist. I wound up running a, a primary care internal medicine program and had a, have had a wonderful time doing it.